Hey Exiles, how are we doing? Back again, playing some more Saga of Survival. Hope you guys are well, hope you're doing fine. Alrighty, so we're going to get into it today. A um, couple of things I want to do, but what I would really want to do today is I want to hunt down some um, herb seeds. So basically at the moment, I'm at my uh, bottleneck at the moment in terms of um, upgrading, progression, things like that. Mainly for... Um, uh, upgrading your workstations and things like that so if you just sort of have a look here a lot of the items do require things like the nature core um, so if I go over to let's say if I go over to here and have a look at that uh, nature core again and I've already upgraded all of that let's go over here and take a look at this one nature core again uh, this one here obviously requires some steel plate and things like that I mean look that's gonna be a little bit hard to do obviously because you do need quite a bit of steel bars to sort of make uh, steel plates, which isn't really too bad. I mean, you can really sort of sort that out over here. Um, really doesn't take that much. You just need a bit of iron, a bit of charcoal, and you're good to go. And you should be able to make a few plates, upgrade the workstation there. But if I look at it again, I need some meteorite all here, which isn't too bad because I've already got all that. But a lot of the other bits and pieces in terms of upgrading um, workstations at the moment is requiring uh, nature cores. So if I go over to my um, my sacred grove here, I've already got four at the moment, but um, the amount of investment that you need just to make one nature core, you need 12 seeds, uh, eight blueberries, and uh, 10, oh sorry, eight herb seeds, sorry, and um, two, uh, what do you call it, old artifacts. So that's not too bad considering, um, but as you keep going and if you keep pumping in more seeds or, you know, seeds in general, the herb seeds is really what your bottleneck is. And I feel like you can pretty much get all these other items, well, basically these two in all zone one, uh, you know, basic zones. So any one skull zones, you're fine. It's this that really hurts you. And this can be found pretty much anywhere you sort of go as well at the same time. So let's just pump in what I can. I'm going to need some more berries, which I know that I've got somewhere. I think I've got them all over here, if I'm not mistaken. No, there they are. And let's just go ahead and pop those in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the most easiest option for me would be to do in terms of raiding uh certain places so i think i'm going to do the chieftain's uh, stronghold to acquire what i can and the, the reason why that i'm bringing up the chieftain's stronghold is more so that i can navigate my way into uh the stronghold down below but not having to worry about any other well too many um uh enemies so to speak so let's just unclick that run over here so it's going to take a little bit to get over anyway so Basically, I, I've looked at it, the Cursed Forest, it's touch and go depending on where the um, the second floor is situated on the map. It might be easy or might be a little bit hard to get to, so in terms of enemies, uh, weapon durability and your armor durability, resources that you're using for heals and things like that will come become a factor. And also the, um, the quickness as well, so how fast do you think you can get in and out? I feel possibly that this would be the fastest way of doing it. So we're going to check that out and I'm not going to go through the whole Chieftain Stronghold. So I'm only just really going to go down into the grotto and check it out. So we're just going to do that, but also, um, yeah, see how long it sort of takes. So obviously I've got my timer with me and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to check that out anyway. But while we're sort of mucking about and waiting for my exile to run across to the rugged cliffs there, Thought I'll let you know, yes, I am still plugging in my Dark Legion clan. Um, at the moment, I've upped the ante to 40 members, so I've got, I'm have got. i looking for an extra four more people for next week's XP challenge and the challenges um, you know, after this week uh, weekend here. At the moment, we're basically, we're on a mini hiatus at the moment, just sort of traveling through and just sort of taking it easy. We're, we're only just gonna try for just uh, one star rewards, that's it. I don't expect you guys to do any more than that if you guys are watching from my clan, of course. But otherwise, um, we're just gonna sort of see that through. So let's get something out of it better than nothing. But hopefully I'm gonna get some more members in. 
and we can at least get enough so I can, um, well, we, we can at least attempt to go for legendary. But I've got a massive list of people now and everyone's become super active, which I'm so happy about. Um, so right now we are on pretty much, we had about three or four people answer in about a day or so ago, so I didn't expect them to start playing at the moment, but at the moment we've got 31 participants out of 36, which is a really good turnout, which I'm happy with, and a lot of people are pretty much all above their, um, their minimum requirements. Uh, it's, well, for myself and from 28 to 31, we need to sort of pick our game up just so we can get basic rewards. But otherwise, um, hopefully I get those extra four people, communicate to everyone that we are gonna go hard and try and get as much XP done as possible. So if you guys are interested or still looking for a clan, please jump aboard to Dark Legion um, and apply and you guys will get in. Anyway, I'm not gonna plug too much about that because I know I did a lot of that in the last few videos. So uh, running into the Chieftain Stronghold now, um, funny enough, I was just having a quick look at the um, fan pages of uh, Saga and I'm just sort of checking out some of what people have sort of have been talking about, what their discussion points and things like that. See a lot of um, clan people wanting to, um, you know, recruit new people, which is always good at the end of the day. But also, um, some people just post some random things as well. So I did see this one raid that someone had did and their two chests pretty much consumed um, a whole bunch, and I mean a whole bunch of um, uh, faction, uh, uh, what do you call it, these things. So, you know, the, the little point systems, the, the little um, uh, the badges, I, I can't even remember what they're called. Do I have one in here so I can at least tell you the right terminology? Let's go to items. Um, where is it? Oh my goodness, uh, there we go, uh, the medals, that's what I'm trying to talk about. So, yeah, so I was looking through the Facebook um, fan page, and yeah, this one raid in particular had a whole bunch of um, that particular medal, but also all the others as well in between, some gold, some mostly silver. Um, yeah, what a positive raid that was, so that was um, pretty good, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. And I think I've gone the wrong way because I think I've realized which... Oh, no, I haven't. Um, okay, so you are right down this way. So if you can get past a few of these goblins here and the dark spiders here, I'm not going to be bothering running, you know, up and back kind of thing. And obviously you got to get past the bear in this case as well. You guys are pretty much in. And let's get through. There we go. And let's head downstairs. So obviously you're going to have to deal with bone breakers and things like that. If you were to go to the Cursed Forest, you're going to deal with a whole lot of golems, which may or may not be as hard to um, take care of as opposed to the bone breakers. It depends on um, how adventurous you feel when you, when you head down there. So we're just going to sneak attack and one shot these guys. Um, two shot for you. And have you noticed... When you come downstairs to any sort of underground, whether it be the grotto or the tunnels or anything like that, if you've got the studded armor, it changes. I don't know if that's an issue with um, um, like a rendering issue or something like that, or does it automatically change due to the fact for that reason? Is it magical? I have no idea. But yeah, I've just noticed that. So if you go back um, to um, uh, above ground kind of thing, it changes. It's more silver and shimmery. This is more um, like copper and, you know, it looks rusted. So I don't like that, but I don't know. Um, developers, if you guys still watch my videos, um, check it out. Because I don't know whether that should be it or that's just a, you know, um, a, a bug that needs to be fixed or, you know, one of those bugs that don't get really fixed because it's not really breaking the game, I guess. So that could be it. Uh, sorry, it could be it. So who knows? Anyway. Back to what I was saying before, yeah, so notice that they ma made a massive raid um, and were very, very successful, so, um, which got me thinking. I've been thinking about it for a little bit and I'm going to consider this, but I want to hear it from you guys as well. I want to do raiding, I really do. What I don't want to do is I don't want to do raiding on my main account. So I do have another account, which I haven't used for quite some time. 
and I'm thinking about using that purely just to do rating. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you think about that? If I end up doing rating on my uh, second account and just focus on that for a little bit, maybe mix it in with different videos from time to time, would you be interested in that? Yes, I know I, I won't get any of the, um, the rewards on my main account. Obviously that, that it is what it is. So I'm not really gonna be bothered with that whatsoever. But I just figured, you know, I wanna give you guys different content and I don't wanna run the risk of losing a lot of my, um, um, all of my, uh, you know, items and things like that that I've collected over the time. So yeah, I feel that that might be a good way of doing it or a good move for me, I guess. But definitely want to hear what you guys uh, what you guys think about that. So yeah, please let me know in the comment section because yeah, I'm really really considering it. Just looking at all some of the rewards that some some of you guys are able to get and things like that. Obviously, you want to be a part of it, but also I want to show you more of the rating system. And plus, in in a sense as well, you know, I might even learn more about the rating system myself. And it might even allow me to, you know, sort of think about switching it back on on my main account. So, you know, if I work out a strategy, um, you know, if I if I develop a you know a good way to sort of um, prevent from anyone to um, you know raid my base, they just sort of take a look at it and they don't want to deal with it. Then yeah, that's that's what I'm sort of you know interested in doing. Uh, where's that bone breaking up? No, it didn't give me anything. So right now, so far, I've only got three. Uh, seeds and a couple of fresh herbs so I'm just sort of going to go through the rest of this here and we shall see what we get out of it from the end because there's a little bit more to get I'm just hoping I get a lot more seeds I'm not too sure what the drop rate is as well or what the ratio would be uh, whether it's just only um, you know it's, if it's a mixture of uh, seeds and you know fresh herbs I mean, it's a double whammy. You, you do get the best of both worlds kind of thing. So whether you, if you don't get seeds, you're going to get herbs. If you don't get herbs, you're going to get seeds. So you know, all good, all relative in that sense there. Um, but otherwise, I think we've pretty much got, this should be the last bone breaker, I think. And I don't have to deal with you. And okay, so actually another interesting topic as well. So. If you've checked out, um, or if you guys are subscribed, or if you guys follow Curseus, uh, he's another YouTuber that does uh, a lot of Saga of Survival videos. Uh, he made a recent video, um, probably about a week or so ago, I think, uh, regarding the impacts and effect on, um, <coughs> excuse me, hit rates of your weapons um, in relation to you know your uh, standard hits, misses, and critical hits. Uh, definitely encouraged to watch the video. It's an interesting sort of insight and um, a good sort of theory to sort of check out as well. So if you guys have ever sort of been um, wondering why that you always are getting uh, misses or if you're getting a lot of critical hits in succession, I know I've had a lot of those in time as well. Um, yeah, it's a really good time to sort of have a bit of a look and see, um, you know, you know, if it makes a difference. What he sort of um, explained was, you know, is there a difference if you were to have gloves or no gloves uh, whilst, you know, using a certain weapon? I'm not going to spoil what it was at the end of the day, so I'm going to get you guys to take a look at it for yourselves if you guys are at all interested. And one other thing was noted as well is there might be some sort of relationship between um, the curse points that you have effect, uh, that affects your player versus the ability for you to make or land hits and things like that. So again, that's always interesting as well. Okay, so... Uh, right now we have pretty much cleared this out here because I can't get anywhere through there. So I've got about six seeds and five herbs. So that's not too bad. I think the Cursed Forest would deliver, if I'm not mistaken, I think you get up to eight uh, seeds. I think eight seeds. I'm just trying to think back the last time that I went through. Pretty sure you get anywhere upwards of eight seeds and a little bit more in terms of herbs. So. I think doing it this way, and realistically it only took me about 7-8 minutes just to sort of go through it, and also talking to you guys as, as well at the same time, that sort of impacted, um, you know, the, the difference there. 
but also um, yeah so that aside and some other things that I was sort of looking on the Facebook page as well just sort of going back to it I'm just this is one of those videos where I feel you know what sometimes it's always good to just sort of have chats about anything and everything and seeing what everyone else is up to in the community as well I don't think anyone does that so you know I figure why not why not do that um, you know some people are still doing clan rec uh, recruiting that I can see and just showing off um, you know each uh, event clan event that they do getting uh, legendary each time so look as good as enticing or as um, you know appealing that might be I mean I still have to reference back to my previous video where I sort of went on that little bit of a rant about um, you know leaders kicking other players if they have committed to do you know a, a good job in their uh, clan event and then they sort of get kicked towards the end and they miss out on you know all the um, all the rewards that they should have got in the first place I think that should be stopped for that there's got to be some sort of um, lock on the system where you you pretty much as soon as you accept someone into the clan during an XP event or any event for that matter that you can't kick the individual until the clan uh, the events over for the clan so I think that's what should be done that's just my opinion on it but again that I think that's something that you guys you know um, should make a claim for if you know if you guys agree with me of course now, if you don't agree with me then that's fine but I think that might be um, the most suitable thing to do just by you know preventing people from just sort of making um, using and abusing other players I think that I think that's what where it's at all right, so into the next uh, grotto. And reading on some of the other comments there, I think it uh, looks like to be another YouTuber, but you know, um, I think in the uh, Spanish, uh, sorry, Spanish community, I believe. So I think they were discussing what they want or what's missing or what they should do before, this is the developers, I should say. Um, you know what they should be looking at in doing before the next update and I think they mentioned it was 1.15 um, look it might it might very well be 1.15 is the next update build but we don't know that for certain um, have reached out to a couple of mods there just to find out you know what's going on if there's any information that I'm allowed to get and um, be provided with obviously I'm gonna let you guys know uh, you know on that authority there of course but so far I just haven't had any, haven't heard anything back it has been a little bit quiet as well when it comes to these sort of updates I think the last update was back in June and we are now in August so it has actually been a couple of months since we've had the last update so yeah look not too sure what's going on um, I've got a feeling that look, you know, the the developers have, are possibly on other different projects as well at the same time um, there, there is the uh, Raid Shadow Legends game which has been really really popular amongst other people um, in other communities as well. It is heavily being advertised and it has been given a lot of um, props and um, accolades and things like that for being a really good RPG game, things like that. Which is good, I mean, you know, it's good for the developers I guess at the end of the day. But also um, it does sort of hinder um, the, you know, uh, developers that were sort of working on say this game for example or any other game for that matter so you know it sort of slows down the production uh, you know for other games you know to sort of be um, you know uh, active and you know for the community to sort of continue to play it because they like what you know what the, what they've been playing I guess but yeah unfortunately um, that's where I think that where that's at at the moment um, but that's just my opinion on it I'm not too sure if they're just taking an extended break um, I'd like to think that would be the case, but I probably would dare say that is a lot of the talent and um, you know time and effort have been shifted onto possibly another game. Not to say that this is actually dead or anything, definitely not. But I think it's just slowed down the process of you know getting having this game updated. And to be honest, if I say I say this now and you know. You know, come the new week, it's we're going to get an update. I, you know, I have no idea, but I like to think that because at least that way you guys get the update along with me as well. So anyway, that's what I think about that anyway. But yeah, so one interesting thing, sort of plucked an old, um, oh, full stack, nice, plucked an old image. Uh, this YouTuber here, and this was a concept for um, pets and things like that. So. 
Um, I find that, you know, look, it's, I don't, I doubt it that that's ever going to happen, to be honest with you. I don't think it will happen. Um, I think that, you know, that's just going to be a concept for a little while longer, if not probably indefinitely. But yeah, there was um, a post, this post was so long ago, I remember seeing it, and I think this was back, I think probably around the update 1.10 mark, I think, um, if I remember correctly, but I can't remember for the life of me. Anyway, so yeah, a um, couple of little, you know, little posts that this person put through and, you know, just suggestion, su uh, suggestions and, um, you know, uh, theories, what they feel like what could be done or what could be uploaded, I guess. But that's just another thing I've seen on the old community page. That's pretty much it. I think a lot of other people are just, you know, showing off, you know, uh, what they're getting through raids and things like that. Uh, clan achievements, things like that. People are just asking the same old questions, you know, you know, where's this, where's that? Why, you know, where's this in the game? A lot of people, you know, explain that, you know, it's obviously not in the game. Like the uh, the Bella Mark, that, that that's one that always pops up from time to time. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I just feel that that um, it's you know good time to sort of see what people are, are sort of doing. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. Let's have a look here, and uh, what have we got? So yeah, we've pretty much doubled our quota. So if you do at least two, three, maybe four. If you do four, you get at least you know possibly twenty four. Um, herb seeds and you get a full stack of fresh herbs to go along with it so that was two different um, uh, grottos that we've just went through and both of them sort of came out with the exact type of um, you know loot for what I was looking at so and I'm at the 20 really 22 minute mark of the video today and I've pretty much gone through two zones and also talking about a few things before we actually went in and you know, started out basically our video for today. So I'm thinking, you know what? I reckon maybe a good 15 minutes, you'll go through two zones and then you run back out and then you go to another um, another zone and keep going and keep going. It's a grind, it's a little bit different, but I think that might work. And if I continue to do that, at least I think I can get a lot more um, resources gathered so I can grab, you know, the nature core. And what I'll probably end up doing is I'll just go through the pine groves, the basic pine groves, and I'll just go from zone to zone, put my guy on auto so he can at least harvest the wood um, and the berries and obviously the seeds for the turnips. So I can sort of continue on getting more um, of those raw materials so I can, you know, make all the nature cores that I need. But otherwise, I think that's probably going to go ahead and leave for today. It's probably a good time to do that anyway. So I appreciate you guys stopping by as always. But make sure, guys, if you had enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about everything that we've discussed today. And if you guys are new to the channel, you want to see more, you want to stay informed, hit the subscribe button, notification bell as well. Alrighty, guys, take it easy and I shall catch you next time.